Hello and welcome to Elite Geo Special. Today we are going to be looking at how to create parcel fabric. All right, so to create parcel fabric, you need to have a folder created. So I'm going to be using Avuja as a folder, and then you need to create a file geo database. So you right click on the folder you are using, and then you go down to New, and you go to File Geo Database. All right, so we will rename this into, let's say, Abuja as well, and then we OK. So assuming that this is uh, going to be our records of land parcels in the whole of FTT. It's an assumption anyway. I'm not saying that well in it. So the next we're going to do is to right click, and we go to New. Then we'll create a future data set. So the future data set now will be parcels, right? Isn't it? It will be parcel, right? So and we'll click next. So Abuja is in zone two thirty two. So since it's within just the Abuja, we we'll just use zone thirty two and we move on. All right. So we have that created. Now, the next is to right click on the parcel and go back to new, and then you go to cell fabric here down here. So it's going to be Abuja parcel. You can use underscore or you can leave them as a joint entity. Parcel fabric. So you can put underscore in between them, but you cannot put space. All right. So you click next. Now they're asking you: Do you have a specific? Do you do you need to specify a configuration keyword? Let's say you have a keyword you want to do. So you just say hey, this option use the default storage parameter for the new parcel fabric. This one you are allowed to specify your own. So I'm going to go with this one for now. But when there is a need for us to use the other options, I'll make a video for it. All right, so let's go next. Do you need to define a fabric information model? Now, I'm just going to use, since I don't have any parcel, this for now, I'm going to use no auth. Then I'm going to finish. So this is using default data, like default settings as how S3 has made it to be. So there's no personalized. The other one is when you will be using like maybe based on your organization, your state, your nation. What are those things that the configurations they've agreed for theirs? That's when we we'll use the second one, all right? So for now, we're only using the first one. So. The last thing we're going to do for this video before we call it a day is you right click and then you see you can check information here you can import uh, another parcel into this all right and you can check the parcel fabric you can basically do a lot of things within here all right so you see it has created a fabric created a fabric in a line polygon point table so from here, all this other information will be uh, keyed in when we start working on them, all right? So basically, this is how you create parcel fabrics on ArcGIS desktop. So before we go further to name more on what this parcel fabric address, we will also recreate this on ArcGIS Pro so that we will see how similar and how dissimilar they are anyhow but we will be doing that together gradually. So thank you for tuning in today and watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and recommend this channel to someone. And let's get it up to 5,000 subscribers and plenty more views. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.